design sites. Now, you either enjoy them or you don't even know how to enjoy them because maybe you're just not a resource person. <laughs> Hold on. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys some really cool sites to help you guys out with like just finding some really cool fonts, colors, mood boards, principles of design, and just overall, just help you guys out. I, generally, I do think that these are probably like the most usable ones. I'm not gonna give you any fluff, so you enjoy it. Okay, so the first site is an absolute gem. So I do weekly free font showcases on Twitter, so I absolutely have to know where the best fonts are. Insert free faces. This website is a curated collection of typefaces that are under a variety of free licenses somewhere on the internet. And now I'm also a sucker for a good layout, and this takes a cake for awesome UIs. But besides that, the showcase fonts are curated choices. So that means the standard of dope typefaces on the site is honestly very, very healthy. From cursive, display, monospace, sans serif, serifs, and even slab typefaces, it's a genuinely unique experience into gathering more of your favorite unique typefaces. And just in case you are unaware of the common font language, SIL open source usually means free commercial use for virtually anything. Even on some cases, being able to modify modify, edit, or even sell products with the font as long as you're not actually just selling the font on its own. Free for commercial use means you can sell products, use them in client projects, etc. But usually not being able to redistribute, edit, or modify the type usually. And free for personal use, which you see quite often, is strictly using these typefaces where you basically gain no monetary value whatsoever. So using a font for a personal social media banner or something like that. That's my very basic explanation, but always be sure to double check that little license file you see in the usual things that you download. That'll explain everything. But you know what is free for commercial use? Everything pack. Don't forget to check out the Everything Pack. As always, guys, it's my personal products that I put together over 24 products right now as we speak for 40 bucks, and then every single product that comes out is free for life, like forever. I still get people from like four, five, six years ago who say, hey, I purchased this, I have the transaction ID, do I still own it? And the answer is always gonna be yes. So yeah, if you guys wanna be a part of it, thisohq.com or selfbuy.com slash if you haven't, you never know, checked it out before. Or you can just like click over here too. Next site, however, is known as Palette Maker. Probably my favorite color assistance tool when trying to come up with color schemes that would work across many projects and pieces. It showcases your color palette with a range of different styles of design and layouts in order to come out with a color scheme that you know will work for sure. Not to mention, you can also choose which type of layouts you're looking for by selecting the drop down from the mix in the top middle. So if it's illustrations, logos, posters, this site can save you a lot of time and adjustments when working on big delivery projects. Honestly, I'm unsure how many times I've probably researched a project just strictly on the fact that I didn't realize that the coasting that I chose worked for one layout, but not the other ones. So be like future me, not past me. Don't make that mistake. Now, if you're a fan of gradients, you're gonna be a really big fan of this next site. It's called Web Gradients. Personally, I found myself gravitating towards a lot of neutral gradient colors when I need to add a little bit of depth to an otherwise flatter color background. Again, the UI for this is sick. You click, you get a zoomed in showcase of the background, as well as a quick view to the hex code to copy the colors over to your desired design program. And if you're like super lazy, you can even download the PNG and it'll even give you a 2K download of the blended colors. It's definitely a bookmark if you work around gradients or if you need to learn why you need gradients, which would also be really helpful if you wanna just kinda add a little bit of depth to an otherwise solid color background. Something like this. And last up is for my designers who wanna learn a bit of design just from one single web source. Introducing principle.design. I don't know why I said it like that, it's not my site, just so you know. Someone actually stumbled upon when looking to gather a little bit more theory for color. However, the site actually hosts 195 examples of 1400 plus design principles from a slew of creators. If you ever need help with design decision making, I do think these guys will actually be a great help to beginners and even refresh the minds of experts. Plus, it's actually not just about design theory in general, so like your hierarchies, color, etc., but the theory of actually many things that use design to help illustrate their purpose and how you can actually reproduce it again. I actually ended up showing this to an art director friend of mine, just kind of like, just, you know, be like, hey, I found this. And he, he said, I've been using it for a little bit. And I was like, okay, maybe I found something. However, though, he actually said he used it for more marketing purposes. So, you know, whatever. And just to throw in one last site, just because, honorable mention, sesohq.com slash inspiration, where you can actually find my personal curated mood boards over the last 72 weeks. All there, all for you to digest and enjoy. And honestly, I, th I have, think I have pretty good taste. So I think you'll find something you like. But with that, Seso HQ out. You're gonna get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace. Enjoy your new sites. All of them gonna be listed in the description down below. And uh, yeah, like I said, this environment, if I haven't said it already, 
it's new. I moved back to New York for just a single year. Then I'll be back in LA. Maybe I'll show a video or something like that. You want one? Yeah. You know, also look at this guy. He is knocked out. 